Um, okay. You want me to get rid of this? No, love no, the they, cup. They, they no, love the cup. cup. Goes so, well with your collar and the color of your hair. So, Evelyn, tell me if your name and uh, where you were born and when. My name's Evelyn uh, Lynn Newton. I was born in Gastonia in 1927, uh, December 24, 27. And we moved back to uh, Hidden River. My mother and daddy worked in a um, um, cotton mill, I guess, down there when, when they lived down there. Well, I know they did. And so they moved back to Henry River, and uh, we've been there ever since. What was your mama's name? Kate. Kate Young Lynn, and she was a triplet. Her, uh, she had a sister that lived, and her name was Fanny, and, and they had one sister that died. Did your mama grow up in... Uh the Mill Village or in that area or she didn't Gastonia? They grew up on a farm and we've got the Henry River book and it's got a picture of the house and oh. the, the children all standing in front of it and mom had uh, uh, two other sisters I believe it was two other sisters and uh, she had four brothers, uh -huh. and uh, her brothers were, one of them was twins. And uh, your daddy, did he grow up in Gastonia? Is that how you ended up there? They met in Hickory, in, in the Catawba County. Uh, my family, uh, the Lynn's and the Young's, were from the Providence uh, Baptist Church area, if you know where that's at. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the name of that little place? Uh, in the Ban it's not Ban Oak. Uh, oh, um, well, it's one I'm not, rem not remembering. Is, but is it Denver? Uh, was it no, it's, it's just over from where I live now, uh, you go on over. Oh, Advance Crossroad? You go on past Advance Crossroad, and uh, they grew up over there. My dad. Kaiser. Not that not, far. Not that far. Okay. No. It was, um, I was trying to think of Royal Chapel Church, right after you pass it, they, they lived. Uh, uh, my mother lived on a, a farm, and my dad, he just had one sister, and uh, mom was from a big family. Uh, did they move to the mill village to uh, to get a work there, or did your, did your grandparents or anybody work in the mill? Uh, y yes, they had the family working in the mill, and so they moved there to work in the mill, and they moved into a house uh, across from Reservoir, if you know where it's at. Mm -hmm. And they lived there. I uh, think they separated. I don't know much detail about that. But they uh, they moved across from the Reservoir to the house across from it and lived there till they built the house over where they lived. Mm -hmm. as a section. Did you live in the boarding house for a while or did you I have did. your own house? When we got married we moved into the boarding house. And uh, we lived there for a long time then we moved down to uh, the house in front of the boarding house. So I moved all the way around that, that uh, reservoir. It's very special to me. The reservoir area. Yeah, I've always thought it was pretty, and they've cl they've cleaned it up now, and I'm glad they did that. Yeah, I was down a few weeks ago, and they've done an unbelievable job down there. Uh -huh. Um, did you have any brothers and sisters? No, I had a brother that was stillborn. 
Mm -hmm. I didn't have any sisters or brothers living. But I had a lot living like we did there at Henry River. We, we were almost family with a lot of different people. I had a lot of mamas and <laughs> grannies. Did you go to school there in the uh, area? Mm -hmm. I remember when <clears throat> they paved the road from uh, Henry River to Hildebrand to the school, and we had to walk. It was, uh, you know, f till they got it done. It wasn't paved. But you remember, I guess, when State 40 came through? Yeah. That was well before. The yeah. Interstate 40. So you're here today with a friend of yours, Ray Burns, who grew up in the um, in the village. And so if y'all can just talk about and share the memories that y'all had together. So Ray, if you want. Evelyn, it, when you talk about him, we were all family, it, it, it's true, we were family. Mm -hmm. And um, your daughter Sherry and I were the same age. We hung out together. As a matter of fact, I have some pictures of a birthday party in the boarding house. Mm -hmm. And Sherry is in that picture. And then I have some more pictures of, um, of Sherry and her birthday party at the house across from the boarding house. Mm -hmm. Where we live. Where you live, Jim. Have I shown you those pictures before? No, but I think I probably have some. You have some, okay. Uh, but I, I appreciate you, you know, showing them to me sometime. I, 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 I'd like to do that. I, I remember, um, you know, Margaret, my mother, would work in the mornings, and Daddy would work on the second shift. And we had, um, there were times when, as she was walking down to the mill and Daddy was walking back, that we were by ourselves, but we didn't. We weren't at all afraid because there was you, uh, there was Viola Pope, there mm -hmm. was uh, uh, Het Newton. I mean, um, Het Rudisel, and mm -hmm. it, it, we had a lot of moms. You did. You did. I yeah, and you. Uh, you were one of. You were one of mine, and probably one of my favorites. As a matter of fact, you. you were very kind. I appreciate that. Uh, Dovey Lell uh, lived uh -huh. down below us, and she was an older lady, and she had a daughter named Maggie. And they kind of took me in. Uh, Mama worked at night, uh, on the night shift at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was older, you know, I don't know how old, maybe 14, uh, but I still didn't feel good staying by myself. You didn't, yeah. And uh, so they would take me in, and I'd stay with them a lot. Yeah, you would have liked part of their family too, <laughs> yeah. weren't you? Well, Maggie Lell, uh, Maggie Lell uh, ultimately moved down behind where you lived in one of those houses, didn't she? Uh, I'm not sure. I think so. She lived down, I know down below, down towards the mill. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh. Down, yeah. Yeah, that's where she lived. She lived there. I delivered uh, the Hickory Daily Record, and um, it was always good when I delivered it to your house, because you and Melvin gave me a good tip. Oh, did we? That's right. So I remember that very well. We must have had some... Extra money. <laughs> <laughs> well, whether you had it or not, you were quick to share it with me, uh -huh. and, and I was very, very grateful. Well, most of the boys, I think, did deliver, deliver the paper, because my husband did. Melvin did, too? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He delivered papers. And the grit. You remember the grit? Yeah. Yeah. We all, many of us, sold the grit for a while. Yeah, he might have done that. He did a little bit of everything else. Well, I remember Melvin as being um, the sort of daddy that I would like to have had. He was, he was so good looking, and, and he was, uh, he would talk. My daddy didn't talk much, 
And so he didn't have much to say, but uh, Melvin was was um, the kind of daddy that I had hoped for. Oh, really? Yeah. He was a good daddy. Uh, he really was. He was a good worker. Yeah, good worker. Oh. Um, but he didn't. He didn't like to work there at any river. He, uh, Mr. Adderall would get a little aggravated at him, but uh, and he didn't. <laughs> he wouldn't put up back. with that. <laughs> yeah, he would. Uh, I remember one time Melvin quit. He he was, and he couldn't afford to. Uh, I worked full time, but he couldn't afford to quit that time. But he had his high temper, you know, mm -hmm. that, you know that mm -hmm. flashy temper. wasn't bad. I'm not saying he was a mean person, but you know he just had his temper. But anyway, he quit, and and Miles got real mad at him. Mr. Adderhold, he got real mad at him, and uh, and Melvin needed some tires, and he was going to Clevenger Business College. And he went and asked Mr. Adderholtz to let him have some money to buy some tires, and he did. <laughs> he loaned him the money yeah. for it? Yeah. And him not even working for him. How about that? I thought that was really... Well, you know, Miles was... Um, they were pretty kind to us. I, I never did socialize with any of Miles' daughters. Did yeah, you? we did. You, you socialized with the daughters? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Rita stayed down their house a lot. Oh my, I didn't know that. Yeah, she would like to play down here in the river. Okay. She played with Sherry. And I did not know that. And then Maxine uh, kept the children uh, for them to go out some at night. So you went into the big house? Or did you mm -hmm. ever go up there? My goodness. Yeah. Well, I had never been upstairs in um, the old... Um, Mill, I mean the old uh, store, until a couple of months ago, uh, my friend uh, Jimmy and Calvin and um, allowed me to go up there after the store was bought by Calvin. Mm -hmm. I had never been up there before. It's, it's a big area up there. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a big area. I can't remember much about it. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know whether I ever told you or not, but. My mother, um, I had some warts. I had a, a wart on my hand, and um, I would rub on it, and it, it would bleed. She said, Ray, you need to go down. You need to go down there and get Mandy to take that thing away from you. Kate. Kate, yeah. You need to go down and get Kate to, to take that thing off. Well, I was just as skeptical as I could be. And I said, well, what's she going to do? And she said, well, she's probably going to get uh, a, a dish rag, and she's going <laughs> to wet that thing, and she's going to rub it, and, <laughs> and, and she is going to say something into that, into that <laughs> rag, and then she's going to take it out back and bury it. And then your wart is going to go away. And you know what? It did go away. I don't know that it had anything to do with what Kate mm -hmm. did, but... It sure did. Well, you know, Marcus Johnson told the same story in the book. He said he was not interested in girls, and his mother told him he needed to get those warts took off his arm. And she took him over to my mother, and uh, she took the warts off his arm. Mm -hmm. and that's what Marcus told. I couldn't believe it. Oh, I, I don't believe in that things like that. You don't. Um, well, you know, some people talked about uh, the place being haunted. I know that since the Mill Village has sort of uh, gone into a, a desolated place, that it was haunted. I never saw any, I never was afraid there. I never saw I anything to be fearful of. I didn't either. Mm -hmm. Well, I also never wanted for anything to eat. You know, I, I knew I knew I could come to your house if if we didn't have anything at our house. I could come and eat with Sherry and you and and uh, Mill. We didn't have any such great food, but my mother liked to cook. She yeah. Cooked. 
She can cook very well. Well, how about how about Craig Lynn? You, what? How did he get involved in taking pictures? That was just a hobby of his, and he did good with it. He did very well with it, and um, I found out from Gary that the colored stuff that he did. And I have a picture of Mother in her wedding dress, and it's in color. I thought, gosh, where did that come from? Well, Gary Lynn told me a couple of years back that the color in any of the pictures that, that his daddy made came from um, Marie. Marie mm -hmm. painted those. Mm -hmm. Did you know, did you know she had that, that skill? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was talented. She was talented, too. Mm -hmm. They, uh, my husband brought a picture of the ship that he was on, home from service, and in travel and everything, it got a little dilapidated, and uh, Marie did a new one and did a good job. She could do most anything. Well, I didn't, I didn't know that Melvin had been in the Navy. Um, I didn't remember that, but I was in the Navy, too. Was it? I was in the Navy, and... Um, yeah, I was in the Navy, and there was a time when somebody came up with this idea about the Henry River Naval Base. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. You'd, you'd say we'd go down and watch the submarine races at, at the mill, <laughs> and usually that was mischief we were getting into. But um, I needed somebody to uh, make a... a a placard to put on Daddy's car. That was the only car that Daddy ever bought. It's a 1959 Ford, and um, I got Marie to do it. And it's uh, I don't know where it is. I wish I had it now, but she was talented. We'll take a little break. Okay. okay. The, does he okay. 